Hey, what's up guys? Recently, Kali Linux operating system has become quite popular among all of the Linux distributions out there. Now, this was probably because of the new TV series Mr. Robot, which was launched previous year, which has encouraged many new learners to develop their career in the field of cybersecurity and ethical hacking. So, seeing this uh, increasing popularity of Kali Linux operating system, Microsoft has launched a Kali Linux application in their Windows App Store. Now in this video we shall be talking about what this application is all about, how you can install it and how you can run Kali Linux operating system directly from, the, uh, directly from your Windows operating system uh, from the command line interface. Now before we get into it, uh, let us briefly discuss about the Kali Linux operating system. Well, it is a Debian based Linux distribution. If you all must be knowing then Linux is an open source distribution which is uh, available openly for you to download for free. You can modify that uh, distribution, you can add your own tools, you can create your own tools, you can download various tools for Linux from the GitHub repository. There are many developers uh, who develop various Linux tools. So it is a very good open source platform and Kali Linux is one such distribution which comes pre-installed with uh, many tools. Now all these tools are very much helpful for the penetration testers as they help them to automate various tasks. They are very helpful for the network system administrators and also it is a very good operating system to get your hands upon if you wish to develop your career in the field of cyber security. Now talking about Microsoft launching Linux in the Windows App Store. Microsoft calls this project as the Windows subsystem for Linux. Well, uh, to see at the history of Microsoft in the year 2015, Microsoft had started the project Astoria, which was aimed to run Android applications in the Windows 10 mobile OS. Well, if you know that Android is also a Linux based or a Unix based system, so all the applications are running on Unix kernel and seeing the demand for Android applications, Microsoft decided to implement the project Astoria which will enable the Android applications to use the APIs from the Windows 10 mobile OS and uh, provide some of the features in the Windows OS. Uh, definitely it will not work as smoothly as expected to work on an Android mobile. So following that project, Microsoft decided to work upon Windows subsystem for Linux which uses the architecture LXSS which basically does what is that it creates an instance uh, using the Unix APIs or the Unix kernel and uh, starts an instance of Kali Linux operating system on top of your Windows host operating system. Till now, if you wish to use the Linux environment, then you had left with two options, either use it in a virtual machine or dual boot your hard drive. Now, if you are using Windows, then you must be knowing how easy the graphical user interface of Windows is to use in a daily basis. And also it is so much easy to learn for a beginner. And on the other hand, Linux is a command line interface. But in the case of dual booting your device, then you cannot seamlessly switch between both of the operating systems uh, and you cannot run both the operating systems parallelly. The other option which was left was using a virtual machine but again virtual machine is a very resource intensive application. Uh, you have to have sufficient amount of RAM and if your processor is uh, not uh, VT threaded or VT enabled then you cannot use it. So Microsoft came out with this solution of using Windows subsystem for Linux which uh, you have to enable or if your Windows 10 operating system is the latest updated one then it is enabled by default. To download this uh, Kali Linux operating system from the Play Store you ha just have to go to your Play Store and type in Linux and then you can see various uh, subsystems for Linux. You have to download the Kali one. This will first download your uh, Windows subsystem which is basically a kind of virtual machine on running on the Windows operating system and it will use the Unix APIs, it will use the Unix kernel to run all the applications of Kali. Now once it is downloaded you will be prompted to create a new user, a new password and then you will be logged on to your system of your Kali Linux environment. Now one thing to note here is that by default we will be using the command line interface. Well it will be difficult for beginners who are new to the Linux environment. Uh, as Linux is by default a command line environment so you have to use all the commands to access various files or to use various tools and also by default no penetration testing tools will be installed in it so I would recommend at, uh, at the first time you should run the apt-get update and apt-get upgrade command to upgrade your distribution and then install the Linux uh, penetration testing tools by running the command apt-get 
install Metasploit framework. This method of using Kali Linux in your Microsoft Windows 10 operating system is very lightweight and it, it is also not very much resource intensive. Now again there is a drawback in this, it will not be able to use all your hardware very efficiently, um, your GPU or maybe your RAM, it will not be used efficiently for performing various tasks. Now if you are having problems in using the command line interface of Kali Linux in your Windows 10 OS, then you can use the graphical user interface by installing an x11 server. I will make a complete tutorial on using the graphical user interface, how you can install the x11 server, how to start it and how to use it uh, using your remote desktop connection. That was all for this video guys. I hope this video helped you in understanding how the Windows subsystem for Linux works and how it enables you to use the Linux environment in the Windows 10 host operating system. I am not sure whether this uh, subsystem works in the previous versions of Windows like the Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or not. So if you are running any of those versions, do try it yourself and let me know if it worked uh, on the previous versions or not in the comment section below. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure to give a big thumbs up for this video. If you did not like it, dislike this video. Give your feedback in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends and family. Before leaving, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I regularly keep on bringing such interesting tech content for you and if you have not yet followed me on Instagram make sure to follow me over there also because I regularly keep on bringing interesting posts and live tutorials on cybersecurity over there. See you in my next video till then check out my other videos on this channel.